the letters I overcomplicate, I underestimate how easy it is to live like this. Feel better if I take my time, just a second and I'll be alright. I know that there's a love that won't find me. There's something about that feeling. There's something about that feeling. There's something about that feeling. Outside the rain's done dancing with the storm clouds But inside it's not a dry eye in this whole house And it ain't sad this why these tears keep falling down now I know I'm not alone and I just get caught up in myself I overcomplicate, I underestimate But I know that there's a love that will find me There's something about that feeling I 
I love the way she moves it when she's watering our garden with the headphones, singing off key Ariana through the window, and I can't help but hum along. Yeah. One more time for I go. I have always taken. I crashed my car the other day Too busy thinking about your face Even though I just saw you yesterday Yeah, it's a hazard to my health I don't do nothing for myself You make me turn up late for work again Ooh, yeah I'm talking about, talking about, talking about, talking about you, yeah To all of my, all of my, all of my friends at the room, yeah they won't go back Oh, I hate how much I love you And I hate how much I care I spend all of my money and all my time Cause I hate how I love, I do I hate how much I love you Yeah, I hate how much I love you I hate how much I love you I emptied out my bank account Just so that I could take you out To somewhere that you've never been before And I told my friends a thousand lies So I could be with you tonight They don't believe a word I say no more Ooh, yeah I'm talking about, talking about, talking about, talking about you, yeah I told myself I wouldn't fall, but I broke my own Ooh, yeah I can't come back Oh, I hate how much I love you And I hate how much I care I spend all of my money and all my time Cause I hate how I love, I do I hate how much I love you Yeah, I hate how much I love you I hate how much I love you, yeah When you're not around me, I swear I got nothing to do, yeah it's making me wonder what I did before I had you, yeah I can't go back Oh, I hate how much I love you, I love you And I hate how much I care I, how much I, care. I spend all of my money and you know all my time Cause I hate I love, I do I hate how much I love you yeah, I hate how much I love you 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 I'm at a job you ain't Trying to pay your bills but you're always late Had a couple dreams back when you was a teen But responsibilities, man, they had to wait You got a bunch of friends but you feel alone They try and get you out but you stay at home They wanna hit the club but you wanna fall in love With somebody you can trust Cause there's been too many times that your heart has been let down And you're picking up pieces from the ground And you feel like screaming now But there's no one to help you and so many times you've been told that they can't change But they don't, yeah, they always stay the same And leave you in the pouring rain I'm right here to tell you I won't I love you in all of the ways that they don't And help you pick up all the pieces they broke I promise I'll love with you, with you Cause you don't wanna waste your time well, you'll never waste your time with me When's the last time you've been out of state? When's the last time that you got away? 
You're better than that. You've been breaking your back. You just have to relax. Cause there's been too many times that your heart has been let down. And you're picking up pieces from the ground. And you feel like screaming now. There's no one to help you. But too many times you've been told that they can't change. But they don't. Yeah, they always stay the same. And leave you in the boring rain. I'm not here to tell you I won't I love you in all of the ways that they don't And help you pick up all the pieces they broke I promise I'll love be with you Cause you don't wanna waste your time I swear you'll never waste your time with me And I'll always let you know That I'll never let you go I swear that you're beautiful, you ain't gotta try when you're with me They might have left you broke, made you feel all alone But I wanna let you know I'm right here to show you I won't I love you in all of the ways that they don't And help you pick up all the pieces they broke I promise I'll love with you Someone else's bed I'll be lost in a crowded room of fake friends I wouldn't even know what love is If we never met What if I never started singing? What if you never told your family you were leaving? When you felt the pressure There's a million different reasons We shouldn't be together but when I put it all together, it all comes back to you, you, you. I love it when the only light is me, you, and the moon. And maybe when I close my eyes, I'm thinking about if we never met. I'll be drunk waking up in someone else's bed. I've been lost in a crowded room of fake friends. I wouldn't even know what love is if we never met. What if I never left Nashville? What if you never called me back when I asked you? Something stupid about the weather. It all happened for a reason. Cause you put me back together. Back together. Put it all together. It all comes back to you, you, you. I love it when the only light is me, you, and the moon. And maybe when I close my eyes, I'm thinking about if we never met. I'll be drunk waking up in someone else's bed. I'll be lost in a crowded room of fake friends. I wouldn't even know what love is if we never met. Hello, Donna. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Miss Lai. Hello, Miss Hello, Miss Lai. Good morning, Junior. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. 
also good afternoon to Mr. Denrick. Denrick. Yes. He oh, will be okay. our uh, evaluator for today. Oh yeah. Please welcome him. Hi, Denrick. Hi, everyone. Yes. Nice to meet right. you. Okay. So uh, it's already two o two. Let's start the section today. So have you guys uh, download the photo that I sent you? Download. <laughs> like you have you received the photo? Mm. If you can. What are we gonna do with uh, this picture? Okay, I, I will explain to you later. But are you guys having it ready? Yeah. Okay, great, great. Hello, Jen. Hello. Okay, hello. Uh, we are preparing for the warm up sections. So, like I shared in the group, I already sent you guys two photos of the movie okay. of the famous movie do you guys have it ready yeah donna are you ready you don't have the photo yet yep yep okay <laughs> july how about you okay do you yes okay great Jen, can you see so, them? Can you I see didn't them? see it. Yellow. Are you in the... <laughs> okay. On yellow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, let me see, share with you the link again, okay. Okay, I see it, I see it. Okay, cool, cool, okay. Okay, so what are we going to do for the warm-up sessions? Is that like... We're gonna practice our body language. And the way we're gonna do this is that each of you will take turn to describe the movie. And you cannot use verbal communication, which means you can only use your hand gesture, your face expression. You can stand up also if you want to. And then you have 30 seconds to do that. And then everyone in the class will guess what movie is this. Are you guys clear? Yeah. Okay. Do you are you are you clear? Yes. July. It's uh cannot cannot uh, use uh verbal, right? Yeah, you cannot say anything. You cannot speak. Cannot, cannot say anything. Can we yeah. a little bit? Really? Cannot yeah, you, you cannot say. You just really use hard. your body language. Your hands, your eyes, your face, uh your facial expression, anything that you can use. And then the rest of the class is gonna guess what the name of the movie. It's very hard. Yeah, I know it's hard, so that's why we want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys can do it. Okay. So Donna, you want do you want to go first? No. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? Why not? Because I'm I, I'm always the cross person i want change okay so then i will let you choose who's gonna be the first one really ah yo <laughs> okay it's you welcome on the stage okay um okay hey hey okay no sorry <laughs> um, That's it, period. Oh, no, no. This has two words. The hint is like all of the movies are the famous one. <laughs> it's maybe a cotton movie. Kung Fu. 
Yeah, you guys, you, you guys can ask yes or no question and then you can confirm with you. That's relay a material act, right? Uh, yeah, action yeah. movie and, and, and a little bit cute, huh? It's cute. Ah, cry, cry. No, cry. Karate Kid. Congrats. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, <laughs> miss, miss you. You can choose another person. Okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Win winter girl. Pro process. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes, correct. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss you. Great work. Okay, we like to choose another one. Jen. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. This my. Uh, this character is kind of. Um, no, do not say anything. You just use your body language. <laughs> Macaron, uh, spam, uh, yeah, vampire, vampire, not right. I don't know. No idea. In in the young macaron, I I I see. Does it look like vampire? The cloud. Near 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 right. No, Miss Lou. It's near right. It's near. The cloud. I didn't watch that film, but it's a horrible. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. the name. Ah, it. It's a horror movie, right? Yes. It's a horror movie. What's the movie called? I think. I think. What's the... What is the? You can you can provide them the initial of the movie name. What if so I can word? say it? Yeah. Okay, so with what letter? the first word is J. J. Come on, guys, film that in Hongkong. Like the Josh or something like that. Can I say something? Yes. Like this, this character, this person, he has um, like mental illness, and he he doesn't act like the normal person. Joker. Yes, Joker. correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's a horrible from Batman. Miss yeah. with the best of movie. Huh? <laughs> okay. Great work. Okay, Jay, you can choose uh, another person. Nona. Yeah. Are you starting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me think. Kung Fu, eh? Kung Fu. Spider, Spider Man. Let me let me No. Oh, 
Yay! Correct. Congratulations. <laughs> correct. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Okay. Now, no, now you can choose another person. Right. Uh, we have two Lang. photos. Lang. And you can describe your second photo. <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't look like Spider-Man. How is this related to Spider-Man? But you get it. Okay. Spider-Man is correct. Okay, congratulations, Loi. Okay, you can choose another person. Isu. <laughs> okay. Doraemon. Meow, 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 meow. Ah, Tom and Jerry. Okay, correct. Okay, you choose another one. Okay, Trang. Uh, this one, Miss Yu has already performed. So, so I still do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we can guess it, Chuan. So the karate kick action movie. Yes. Karate kick. Yes. <laughs> it's right. It's right. Yes. 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 Okay. It's karate kick. And lastly, Donna. Miss Wu is very perfect expert in movie. Yeah, she knows a lot of movies, huh? Okay. No, do not speak, do not speak. Are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I quickly switched this thing. <laughs> this one is easy. This one is easy. No, I don't want. I don't know how to. Just, just try, do it. try, try to do anything. How many words? Five words. Five words. Hmm. The first letter. Can you say the first letter? No, 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 no. This one is easy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's easy. Maybe how many, okay, how many characters, like main characters in the movie? Two. Okay, two. Like con, like like con vua vậy. Is it a famous movie? Yep. More information. Don't know how to express. <laughs> the first letter. <laughs> Maybe Miss Nine can. Can, can, can I, I use a relative supportive? Can. <laughs> okay, there, there are two characters in the movie. One male and one female. <laughs> Maybe the... Uh, and it's a Disney movie. Miss Disney, huh? Yes. Maybe the... The, 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 the first character the, is... The rabbit and the wolf. No, that is love story. No. Love story. Hmm. Five words. Is 
It's kills, kills, kills. It's a uh, one, one one character is very cute, and one, the second character is very hor horror. Beauty and the beast. Beast and beauty. Yeah, the beast yes, and correct. Beauty. Yes, beauty and the beast. <laughs> correct. All right. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone. You guys have done a very good job. All right. Yeah. So let's move to the next sections. Ah, uh, Yes. Yeah. Just go ahead. Okay. Okay. Let me share with you the slide right. Okay. So these are the movies that you guys just have described, right? So now we're gonna do the training uh, quality evaluation survey. Can you guys just scan this QR code? QR okay, code. Cool. Yeah. And then do a quick survey about like uh, our training course so far. How do you guys find it? What are the good things? What are the things that we, we need to the improve? We have the right? Yes. Our class is PS32. Hi, Jin. Hello, everyone. Sorry for late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we just f finished the warm up sessions. Right now, we are doing the training quality evaluation survey. So you can scan the QR code, and then we're gonna have, let's say, okay, five minutes for you guys to do it. Is that enough? Uh, yes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. We will start with five minutes first, and then after that, if you guys need more time, we will we we'll understand some more time, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. So now it's 2.20, we wanna come back at 2.25. Yeah, I know. Could we have some music for this part? Okay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. I don't recognize this place. Where are you? Where are you? Now I miss the smallest things. I'm not ready for this change. Where are you? Where are you? Can't help but wonder. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready now? Uh, may I ask who is who is Chris? I heard you moving on and now you got it. Sorry, uh, Jay. Who is Chris? I'm happy, I'm happy for who is Chris? Mm -hmm. uh, what question is it? Okay. Friends and witnesses. How interesting. Oh, okay. So he is not teaching us, so you can just type in na no answer jane could you hear me 
Just wanna be happy too. Yes. Yeah. So Chris is not teaching us, so you can just tap in your answer. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready now? Do you forgive me? Ever something you can talk about? I heard you moving on and now you gotta figure out. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy for you. Are you really gonna tell me that you're better now? Hey, ain't it funny how we swore we couldn't live without each other? Now you got another that it's figured out. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy for you. Happy for you. Just wanna be happy too. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready now? Do you forgive me? Am I something you can talk about? I heard you're moving on and now you got it figured out. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy for you. Are you really gonna tell me that you're better now? Ain't it funny how we swore we couldn't live without each other? Now you got another, got it figured out. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy. It was great at the very start, hands on each other, couldn't stand to be far apart, closer the better. Now we're picking fights and slamming doors, magnifying all our flaws. And I wonder why, wonder what for, but we keep coming back for more. Is it just our bodies? Are we both losing our minds? Is the only reason you're holding me tonight Cause we're scared to be lonely? Do we need somebody Just to feel like we're alright? Is the only reason you're holding me tonight Cause we're scared to be lonely? Too much time losing track of us. Where was the real undefined spiraling out of touch? Forgot how it feels. All the fucked up fights and slamming doors, magnifying all our flaws. And I wonder why, wonder what for. It's like we keep coming back for more. Is it just our bodies? Are we both losing our minds? Is the only reason you're holding me tonight? Cause we're scared to be lonely. Do we need somebody just to feel like we're alright? Is the only reason you're holding me tonight? Cause we're scared to be lonely. Lonely, cause we're scared, yeah, we're scared to be lonely. Cause we're scared, yeah, we're scared to be lonely. Waiting for the time to pass you by. Hope the winds of change will change your mind. 
I could give a thousand reasons why And I know you And you've got to Make it on your own But we don't have to grow up We can stay forever young Living on a sofa, drinking rum and cola underneath the rising sun. I could give a thousand reasons why, but you're going. Okay, great. You know Thanks. Thanks too. All you have to do is stay. Donna, Lying, Jang, miss you. Are you guys done? Not yet. Not yet, Jang. Yes. Okay. How how much how much more time do you need? Uh, I think uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, three okay. to five minutes. Okay. 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 We're gonna spend another five minutes for you guys to finish the form. Okay, and then we're gonna move to the next section. All right. Five minutes. Okay, thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Jane. Miss you and Donna, you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, I finished. I finished. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Okay, let's resume our session today. So next, we're gonna go to uh, your individual speech. So each of you will have to uh, five to seven minutes to speak. And then after that, Mr. Derek will uh, provide the evaluation to your speech, okay? And uh, Jelangano, can you move to the next slide, please? Okay, and this is um, the order. So first we will start with Miss Luang and then Jam, Jang, Helen, and Miss Yu will be the last one. Okay? Okay. And so uh, at five minutes, I will type in the chat five minutes, six, I will type in six, and seven, I will stop you guys. Okay, you, are you clear? So you will have maximum only seven minutes to speak. So Lani the first, huh? Lani the first okay. one. Yes. So are you ready, Loing? Yeah, here is when uh, Dark and Cat. So I hope you guys can can hear. I wear. I wear. Yes, yes uh, we can hear you clearly. We can hear okay. you clearly. Okay. All right. So Denry, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So cool. I start. Okay, let's start. Well, when you hear of a plastic surgery, what do you think of? People trying to delay uh, the, the effect of aging. Uh, people want to uh, change, up the, uh, change the size of uh, their nose, their stomach, or other part of body. So do you understand uh, what is plastic surgery? Yeah, just because of the name include the word plastic, doesn't mean patients who uh, have who have uh, this surgery end up uh, with a full, a face full of uh, fake stuff. Plastic surgery is a special surgery that can change a person's appearance and ability to function. So some people turn uh, to plastic surgery to correct um, uh, a physical effect or to change a part of body that uh, can make them feel uncomfortable. Other people uh, want to run a, a cosmetics uh, to change because they are not happy about the way they look. Uh, that's why plastic surgery is very popular nowadays. Uh, data shows 60% uh, women said better fake beauties than natural ugly. Do you agree uh, with me this statement? I totally agree this statement. I know that uh, plastic surgery has uh, a disadvantage and advantage. The, the disadvantage is plastic surgery uh, carries risk, get pain, and sometimes it doesn't look uh, natural and expensive also. The advantage is um, you are looking for a source of greater confidence. Confidence has been shown to be a key factor in how as a people uh, live in our life and it can improve how uh, we feel about ourselves, promote our career and, and have a significant impact on how people, how others view us. Plastic surgery is a great uh, way to increase our confidence and has many benefits uh, that the bizarre are uh, just wanting to uh, look good and they can uh, improve um, your quality of life. So, have you been considering uh, having something done but uh, you aren't uh, quite sure? Like uh, you want to change a, a part of your body but uh, you scare of pain or you scare of uh, other torture, torture as you scare of the treasure of others. So I did this. Uh, I took plastic surgery uh, my nose three years ago. You can see my nose now. It's, it's look uh, it's look higher than um, ordinary Vietnamese, right? Um, after I got surgery, sometimes I, I will hear uh, people Church both na uh, loudly and silently that um, mm, her nose is uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, uh, look fake, and uh, 
her nose uh, is too high or it's, it's sometimes it doesn't look natural but i don't care about uh church uh people how how people treat me i do whatever i like so the only one thing i i know is i feel happier and satisfied for sad, sad, satisfied with it um the plastic surgery is a bad thing that's right or wrong in my opinion is is uh, there is nothing right or wrong it depends on how uh, how people uh, studies it depends on on the purpose of each person uh, so you are if you are considering plastic surgery i have experiences and let me give you uh, some recommendation before you decide to take surgery uh, firstly uh, you take over your parents and and or your uh take over with your parents uh, or your parents seriously uh it's better if you your family agree the next step is meeting with a, a surgeon uh with a person with a plastic surgeon uh, to help you learn how to expect before during and after uh, the procedure as well as a possible complication uh or uh downside of such to the surgeries uh depending on the the preser uh, the uh, procedure you may feel some pain uh as you as you recover and temporary swelling and uh, bruising can make you uh look less like yourself for a while uh, secondly uh, it's good idea to choose a surgeon um who is a certificate of, of a plastic surgery, rep, reputable, reputable doctor, and a famous doc hospital, as, or you can uh, reference from your friend that uh, they did this before. Thirdly, you should prepare the financial, of course, and stay at home to rest uh, for a week. Finally, you should have mentally preparation, pre uh, preparation to ignore the, and overcome the judgment of others. In conclusion, we know that a beauty show is better than a beauty face, but it would be great if we have both, right? So if you want to have both the beauty, why not you think about bloody surgery? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Wang. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Wang, for sharing about plastic surgery and also your journey and the tips if you want to get one. Yeah. And next, we will come to Miss Mr. Derek uh, evaluation. Do you have any feed, feedback to Wang? Uh huh. So I I thought the I thought some other members would. Uh, mm -hmm evaluate first or should i just go <laughs> yeah i think that uh, our learners can share uh, like some points and then uh, then rick will go ahead maybe okay. we have two learners to share okay 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 so does anyone want to share and provide feedback to line Um, so, uh, yeah, so I, uh, yeah, I can share first. So, okay. um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, uh, today, uh, Luang, uh, have, uh, improvement, uh, um, deliver a long and very detailed, uh, speech and, um, so and that's because this speech is related to plastic surgery, which is not that easy because many jargon works. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, the, the the speech um structure quite well when um when uh, Luang, uh, give a uh, uh, an introduction on the uh, speech and um uh on the uh, plastic surgery and uh, she's uh, give an example of herself that um she experienced the uh, plastic surgery on her nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very uh, life example. Yes. Mm. 
um, uh, and uh, also some Loan give very good recommendations if um, anyone want to uh, the, the, um, do the uh, plastic surgery to have a plastic surgery we can okay. um, refer to uh, Loan recommendations um, just something is that uh, I think uh, maybe the um, the limited of time of this uh, because maybe Loan only have two days to prepare so uh, maybe uh, Loan still uh, looking at the materials right What's wrong? Some, What's wrong? some time right because uh, yeah. yeah because I just prepare in this yeah, in I, the morning <laughs> I think so yeah. okay so and um, that's why we we, we uh, highlight letting of the eye contact yeah okay. and I can feel like still uh, looking at the material and so, and sometimes uh, I look at uh, not that nature. And I look at everyone also I cannot speak okay. without looking everyone eyes <laughs> okay 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 yeah yeah so i think with more time um, to prepare maybe uh, like do better but a good job like thank you miss you thank you line okay miss you you can choose another person to give feedback to line okay maybe uh miss Trin. okay so so far miss uh zoo has uh, mentioned most of the things that I want to share about and how I feel as well. So for this mm -hmm. time, I can uh, see that um, this line have, uh, has a big improvement because uh, she can prepare her speech um, in Welsh structure. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of the plastic surgery, like she explained to every one of us, what's the, what's the definition and we can be able to visualize what, what is the action and also mm -hmm. see we can uh, deliver a very well content beside that okay. and also provide um the very um really 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 real example about herself like her experience um and she also uh provide us the recommendation um on mm -hmm. how should we do it and the solution for um like those people who want to uh, have a pl plastic surgery in the future so and beside that she also end up with a very good conclusion of like mm. how um should we like don't judge people by like what their is uh, their appearance mm. so everyone have the choice to do the things that they love and she also um have the very uh have her own um opinion i mean her um how to say like she very determined with what she decided yeah she doesn't care um so yeah uh like very inspired inspiring speech um so i miss you also share that maybe a limited time so or maybe you look at everyone so that's why uh, we cannot see you really focus on the camera lens yeah but mm -hmm. uh rachel Lang, thanks Thank you. And the, the final the final sentence I want to deliver to you all is uh, we know that the the beauty soul is better than the beauty face, but if better, it will be great to have both, right? Yes, I agree. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Loin. Okay. So, Derek, do you want to give us a feedback? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sure. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me well? Or do I need to speak yes, louder? Yes, you can. Yeah, very clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's good. So, Ms. Ron, I think you had a very clear structure. So that's always good. I know you started. That was a clear opening. And the body was very well designed with a lot of facts and numbers to kind of help us go through your speech of what you were saying. So I really enjoyed that, first of all. I do think for such a topic, right? Plastic surgery, it's a very controversial topic. I think in the future, you could spend a little bit more time on a more creative opening and allow people to go into a dream of fighting with 
between beauty and soul or something like that. So you could spend some more time in your opening because it's such a good subject. But anyways, I think the opening was good enough, a good body. I knew you were talking about the body and the end was very clear. So that was excellent. Well done. I also want to compliment you on your voice. I think you have a very clear voice. It's very easy to see and suiting. I want to compliment you as well on your courage. Some people might not feel comfortable to say, okay, look, my nose, it's plastic surgery. Yeah. But I think that was the power in your speech. You brought everyone right here to see this is real and it happens and it, and it can happen to anyone, a friend or a stranger. So I think that was really good. I really enjoyed that moment. It's like, imagine if someone is against plastic surgery and they didn't know you had one and then you suddenly hit them, then they would be like, oh, I shouldn't judge people as someone mentioned in their pre um, discussion. So that was really good. I think one power that you have also is your smile. You only smile just a few times though, during your speech, I think. Your smile is a powerful tool, and in the future, you should use it more often. Yeah. yeah. With that being said, I would like to give you a, just one recommendation for this time. It's to practice to speak slower. Oh. I do think that you are going a little bit too fast, especially for a subject like this. People need time to process what you're saying. And if you're going too fast, we might lose some very important information, but also we might lose some emotion. Yeah. And I think you should use that time to bring over emotion and use your smile. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. I would really like to see you give a, a more prepared speech in the future and if best um, in person because now you are a little bit close to the camera i cannot really see your hands your gestures yeah i was i wasn't really know i sometimes i see a little bit of your hand but i i'm not so sure what you're doing so yeah. I, but i would like to see a speech of you in the in the future a well prepared speech in the future yeah well done Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Thank, thank you, you. Karen. Thank you, Derek. All right. Thank you, Derek, for a very detailed evaluation. And next, we will move to the next speaker, who will be the second one. Is that Miss Jump, Donna? Is that you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Before Donna start, uh, can Denrik, do you want to introduce a little bit about yourself? This was my mistake. I forgot to ask you to introduce <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that we get to know you better. <laughs> sorry, my bad. I'm I'm not a great self introducer. Um, yes, you are. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, currently, I'm currently locked in a hotel room in Benche. I am originally from the Netherlands. I've been in Vietnam for 10 years now, and I mainly wow. work as a consultant. Okay. But public speaking is one of the things that I like to do. I also do a lot of volunteer work, like teaching wow. uh, students or anything else that relates to bringing value to people. Mm -hmm. I'm also, or I was an ex member of Toastmasters. I don't know if you know, oh and I have been winning quite a few <laughs> uh, public teaching, uh, speaking events and um, 
impromptu speaking events, etc. So I do enjoy public speaking and I feel grateful to have the opportunity to be here with you today and find a way to bring some value to help you mm. in your future. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I think that's better than just introducing myself. Okay. Thank you, Denrik. Thank you for being here with us today. We really appreciate your presence. Sure. Thank you. So if you guys have any question for Denrik, please feel free to ask. I believe he has a lot of experience to share with all of us. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's start with Donna's speech. Are you ready, Donna? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. We can start at any time. Okay, let's start. Okay. Okay. How many how many of you here have ever written a diary before? I guess one of us tried one time in our life, right? When you were a teenager, you might have kept the diary hidden under your mattress. It was a place to confess your struggle and fear without judgment or punishment. It slightly felt good to get all of those thoughts and feelings out of your head and down on the paper. The world seemed clearer. You may have stopped using the diary once you reach adulthood, right? So, but the concept and its benefits still apply. Now it's called journaling. It's simply writing down your thoughts and feeling to understand them more clearly. So, journaling is the simply the act of informal writing, a regular practice. Journaling takes many forms and serves different purposes, some creative, some personal. And let's look at the benefits of journaling. One of the ways to deal with any overwhelming emotion is to find a healthy way to express yourself. This makes a journal a helpful tool in managing your mental health. Journaling can help you manage anxiety, reduce stress, cope with depression. It also helps control your symptoms and improve your mood by helping you prioritize problems, fears, and concerns. Tracking any symptoms day to day so that you can recognize trigger and learn ways to better control them. Providing an opportunity for us for to self talk and identify negative thought and behavior. So, how can we journal, do a journal in our life? So, try these tips to help you get stuck with journaling. First one is try to write every day. Set aside a few minutes to write. This will help you to write in your journal regularly. Make it become your habit. Secondly, make it easy. So keep a pen and a paper handy at all time. So you can also keep a journal on your smartphone. The third one is write around whatever feels right. Your journal doesn't need to follow any certain structure. It's your own private place to discuss and create whatever you want to express your feeling. Let your words and ideas flow freely. Don't worry about spelling mistake or what other people might thinking, okay? And the last one is use your journal as you see fit. You don't have to share your journal with uh, anybody. But if you do, you do want to share some of your thoughts with trust friends or your loved one, you can put some show them part of your channel. In conclusion, keeping a channel help you to create order when you your work feel like it's in chaos. You get to know yourself by revealing your most private fear, thoughts, and feelings, while right in a place that relates that you feel relaxed maybe with a cup of tea and it will result in a healthy lifestyle for better manage managing stress anxiety and mental health condition 
to get the most benefits, be sure you also meditate every day in the morning, maybe just five or 15 minutes per day. Eat a healthy, balanced diet. Exercise regularly, get in some activity every day, like running. Treat yourself to plenty of sleep each night so you can focus on your studying and working. And remember that you need to stay away from alcohol and drugs also. Okay, thank you for listening. That's you still have 30 seconds. <laughs> Uh, do you have any question for me? Do you? Okay. Okay. How do you? What do you realize? Yeah. Pardon. I mean, uh, how do you help you in real life? Because I didn't hear any of your example. Uh, whenever I feel stressed, I always uh, write that, do a journaling. Uh, I write it uh, for what I have written it for one year, and it's helped me a lot. Especially, uh, it keep my writing skill better. Uh, I also uh, writing a blog uh, in my free time. Uh, you can, it, it, it will also help you to become a writer if you want in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Donna. And um, so now let's go to the feedback part. So does any one of you want to give Donna the feedback about her speech? Okay, I can uh, share some. Okay, yeah. great. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Go ahead with yes. you. Yes. Yes. Um, Donna's picture is a very well structure. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. She opened the uh, introductions with the rhetorical questions, uh, which is uh, capture the uh, audience uh, attention. Good pitch and good body language. Yes. Uh, very um, useful information uh, uh, on the, the benefits of uh, journaling and um, how to write. Uh, but uh, just um, one uh, one feedback is that um, because uh, you finish your speech uh, less than five minutes, and uh, until the Q and A sessions, we know that um, you are you are writing the journalist. So I think um, it would be good if you can um, uh, apply yourself example. You tell your story, how how the journaling have helped you, and how you have applied it, and how it helped in your life. I think uh, then uh, your speech uh, structure will be well and give us more clarity. Example on that. That's my uh, my feedback. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Yu. And let's go for one more feedback. Does any one of you want to share with Donna? Lang Jin Jang. Maybe Miss Jang. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. yes, we can. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, as Miss Yu mentioned, I think Miss Dona was quite prepared for her speech. She provided um, the opening, uh, the conclusion, and the body of her speech. Um, I, I feel a little bit. I, I, I think I think all the facts she gave are useful, but I feel a little bit overwhelmed and hard to remember when 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 there were no visual aids or information presented on the screen that can help me digest the information more more easier and i can i i think miss dona you can do better if you uh 
is there the support of uh, slides or something else to help you uh, present information more effectively? Uh, yeah, and I think your speech was well prepared, and I think you you did a great job. Thank you for putting in your work, Ms. Donor. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. And so now let's go with Denrik. All right. Dona. That's a that's a very creative word uh, name. Dona with a D O H N A. Right? Yeah. And it sounds like Donna, but it's written a little bit different. I find that quite creative. All right. So I think the first thing that I want to say mm -hmm. is that from the way you're speaking, I do see a very good ability to be a, a good storyteller actually i could see that i could feel that some moments in the way you were giving your speech i think that opportunity is there if you can work a little bit more on it and i'm gonna i'm gonna jump to recommendation for a second because someone mentioned that as well earlier is imagine if you manage to include some personal story in the speech that you just gave. Maybe take us a day that you were journaling and, and how did you start and what did you write about? How were you surprised? What did you feel when you finished? I think if you were able to integrate just one example of a rainy day in Ho Chi Minh City, I was writing in my journal and I felt so calm after writing it. Just something simple like that can help us to come into your experience a little bit more. So somehow I could see that you have that ability, but also I, I have to say that I think you've missed that opportunity in this speech. Okay, so going back to compliments, I do think that you have good hand gestures and I really like the moment when you were showing to your mind as in thinking. I think that was good and very clear and it helped us to understand what you, what you are talking about a little bit better. I also like the tempo that you are speaking. If I compared with the previous speaker, I tend to enjoy this tempo a little bit more. So I would try to definitely keep that and don't be afraid to use more pauses in your speech. Like you ask a couple of questions, but you moved on a little bit too quickly into the answer and continuing with your, with your speech. You could have just wait maybe three or five more seconds to let the people think about your question. And if you did that, you could have also reached your five minutes if you did it, right? Yeah. All in all, I do have to talk about your speech structure. I think though I, I knew you had an opening, but the transition from open to your body was a little bit too abrupt for me. It was like, oh, you're doing your opening and then suddenly you're in your body. You're talking in, about the body part of your speech. And I was like, hey, wait, wait, wait. That was a little bit too fast. There was no clear line, at least to me, from the flow from your body in from the opening into the body of your speech and then into your conclusion. So I would recommend you to work a little bit more on how you transition from opening to the body of your speech and from the body of your speech to the end. 
also, I think the eye connection wasn't that well either because I think you were reading from a paper. But I, 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 maybe most people didn't have enough time to prepare for the speech, so I could understand that. Nevertheless, try to use more eye connection like I'm doing right now when you are mm -hmm. speak, making a speech online. One piece of warning also that I would like to give. You're, you're talking about medi uh, journaling but I felt you went a little bit too far in your topic. I think meditation is still okay because as you journal, yes, you meditate a little bit, but I felt when you went into the topic of, for example, alcohol, I pretty much felt like you lost me. I went, you went too far on the topic. So try to avoid that in the future when you're speaking uh, giving a speech about a topic. And I think your topic was journaling. If I had a chance, I would like to see you do this speech again, but next time try to find some scientific uh, evidence to include in your speech, to let us know that you're not just talking what you think, but there's also some evidence that what you're saying can actually help people to live a, a, a better life. All in all, I do think you have a talent for storytelling. I was able to feel that. I would like to see it again. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Denrik, for your very valuable uh, evaluation. Thank you. You give a lot of good advice. I also learned it for myself. Thank you very much. And uh, next, we, let's go to Helen, right? Is that you or uh, Jane will be in the next one? I forgot the order. You guys remember? Oh, okay, it's Jane. <laughs> Okay, let's bring Shane to the stage. <laughs> we, you know, uh, can I start? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can start anytime you're ready. Yes. Many of us talked about what we're going to do at the end of the lockdown, right? I'm going to go to the mall. I'll go to a karaoke bar. Hmm. I want to go to a board game cafe with friends. I start traveling again. Many of us have you say many of us have the feeling that we all want to return to activities that are somehow familiar to us before the pandemic. And I think it's fair enough because it's our tendency to, to always find a familiar feeling after living with ours for a long time. And um, have you, have you ever thought about trying doing a new thing, which might be risky and hard a little bit? Yes, it might give you a completely different feeling that you never had before. You see, next summer, bars might be open, barbecues will go, and parties will be a thing again, even mass might come off across the country. It's a big summer for flirting, my ladies. And imagine, imagine if you're at your friend's party, you sashay in the kitchen and you see an attractive guy. 
assuming that that guy is so attractive that you really want to ask him out, but you are unsure of how to approach him. Um, you will fear that you will be embarrassed and feel rejected if that person turns you down. But don't worry, today I'm here to help you to find the key to overcome that fear. And I promise that that's not going to be cheesy lines or creepy pickup artist tricks or anything like that. It's just a refresher on in person and face to face flirting if you're rusty or some basics if you're new to this one. Without any further ado, I dive right in the first tip. Remember the first tip. Remember, flirting is not about you. By this, I mean, I see some people have a goal-oriented way of flirting because they view flirting as something they can make, they can get others to make them feel good. And for example, like some people, they put a lot of pressures on themselves to be the best version of themselves. And they try their best. They always try their best to, uh, for example, to get that person's number at the end of the date, to buy that person a drink, or um, to make that person have a good impression on them, and so on and so forth. So because of this pressure, they would have a fear of being rejected. I suggest that instead of doing that, I think you can get a better result if instead trying to get others to make you feel good, you concentrating on making them feel good by creating mutual pleasant experience, such as you can um, have a few minutes of present conversation. And I think this way is, is way more manageable and it can help you to ease the pressure of any possible rejection. Now we move on to the second tip, be open and inviting with your body language. An expert studying about the art of flirting said that if you're hoping to attract people, keep your shoulder, keep your shoulder back and don't cross your arms. This is especially important because your body language says that you're relaxed and you're approachable, you're a happy person, and you're a kind person. And, and the most important aspect of body language is your smile. A happy and genuine smile will, I mean, a happy and genuine smile will help you to, has a way to lower the walls. If you want to connect, if you want to connect with the person, um, with a by give them a genuine and happy smile you will you know you can chances are that person will lower the walls a little bit so you're already halfway there this the third tip is to um watch the third tip is to start the is to initiate the conversation with a simple question like for example hey how you been doing or how do you know him or her? Simple questions like that, it's um it doesn't is not a big deal and it can, you know, can help you um approach that person more easily. Remember when you talk to a person, remember to take the time to check in how they're reacting to your answer. Are they offering one or short or one answer a one word answer, have they step back? Are they looking away? Remember, check these signs to know whether you should bounce out of the conversations or not. And last but not least, say goodbyes. Either you end the conversation politely or you have something to do right now and you might come, up, come around later. You can say goodbye to that person by, um, by some phrases like, uh, hey, it's been a great chatting, but I think I should get back to my friends. Or if you want to let the person out, just say, hey, um, tell me whether it's okay to get back to your friends. 
And to recap, there are five tips for you when you want to approach a, a stranger. Uh, the first tip is to the first tip is to open with your body language. Um, second is start with a simple question. The third is test and assess. The fourth is say goodbyes and um, and and yes. And the most important thing I want to convey to you in this uh, and during my speech is that flirting when you want to approach someone it can be hard but just remember one thing to ease your fear of rejection thank is that you, is not you. yeah thank you it's james up thank you jay yeah okay let's go to the feedback hello can you guys hear me yeah we can hear okay so line do you want to provide feedback to jane yeah uh okay um i i can see that the the chang miss chang speech is really well structured that uh, i can i can understand the uh five tip right or three tip to for flirting that i never think about my life so uh, when i um her i i hear her speech so i can apply easier for my life that i can get more attention for uh someone else and apply for a uh, tip mission advice so uh i really like the way uh when she uh, conclusion her speech that she uh consolidate uh again the the uh, her uh, her uh, main content that because uh, sometimes when i i when i hear uh, her speech i i will uh, forget uh something because um uh the speech is longer but uh, finally uh, the in conclusion she consolidates and summarize the the tip so that can make uh, make uh, audience again uh, remember the the main tip she want to recommendation us. Yeah, um, it. Uh, Chang, uh, did you give example in your speech? I I didn't hear example that yourself or anyone. I, I I didn't give yeah. my personal. Yeah, it it could, and I I think that it could be better if you can give an example to audience that someone already apply uh one or two or three tips you recommendation that uh, they successful with uh, with with that tip and they got the good uh, the best result after they they apply the the tip you recommendation yeah. Thank That's you, Miss Lai, for providing the feedback. Okay, Cheng, you were you want to say something? Okay, okay, cool. And Helen, do you want to provide feedback to Cheng? Um, yes. So so far, I can say that Cheng has uh, has prepared her speech very well. So, um, but. Yeah, like uh, like Miss Lang said that um, it will be more uh, get more attraction from the audience um if Chen can maybe can give some example because uh to be honest that this is quite a new topic for every one of us uh, and it's totally new for me uh, so I I can I mean I can learn something from her speech uh so, yeah so. This could be better if she can provide some examples. Yeah, was so far well done. Okay, thank you, Helen. Just curious, that are you still single? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, yeah, so exactly. hopefully with this tip you will uh, attract the right guys to, to come to your life. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Derek, uh, would you love to provide Jane your evaluation, please? 
Sure. Okay. Um, first of all, obviously, this is most people like this topic, right? You talk about if you want to talk about flirting, most people will want to see, okay, how can I become a better flirter? But also, how do I react when someone is flirting with me? So I think this was a very valuable speech, actually. It's a, it's a very good selection of something to talk about, especially because we are humans and we are now in lockdown. Very well chosen topic, in my opinion, for this moment. I also want to give you another compliment is that I think your structure would be excellent for a YouTube. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, or if you have never made a YouTube video, I think this would be a good one to start with. Very well, step one, step two, step three. I think it's good, really good for YouTube. So congratulations for that one. I do have to say that, in my opinion, the opening was, I wouldn't quite say distracting. However, it took me three minutes to know that you were talking about the topic of flirting. So the opening was way too long and it kind of went too much around. And then when you hit me with the topic of flirting, I was like, oh, uh, all right. I have to change my mind from something really annoying, right? Which is COVID lockdown. I had to switch my mind almost like an ele electric shock to a topic that's so wonderful. <laughs> Say, oh, she's talking about flirting. Okay, hold on. I have to change my mind. I'm going to listen. All right. So be careful with trying to do a little bit too much in your opening to, to, to go to the point of what you are actually going to talk about. The opening is very important to set the mood for by the time you reach the body of your speech, okay? I do think you have a, a nice voice and I was enjoying your accent from the beginning. It was like, hey, that's a very lovely accent. I was really enjoying it, especially when you said, you know, you're relaxed. I really liked it. I, w I wished you took more time in that moment and really savor that moment and allow us, after you say, you know, you're relaxed, right? Not, not crossing your arm, but opening. It says you're relaxed. I wish you really use your eye contact, use your emotion and let the people remember that moment. Don't be like this when you're flirting. Open, right? I think it was a great opportunity to bring us more into your speech. But all in all, I do think you have good body language. You're sitting well at distance with the camera and we could see that you were using your hands. So I did enjoy that. So my biggest recommendation would be to pay attention to what your listeners are are listening don't go too far from what you are about to to talk about which which was the flirting as they mentioned before it's like for for youtube yes it's great but since you're doing a speech it would have been good for you to tell us. I remember when this guy, he was so ugly. 
I didn't like him at all. But he came and flirted to me. And he had the best pickup line ever. And even though he was ugly, I couldn't believe it. But I gave him my phone number. You know? So that would let us know that you know what you're talking about. Because everyone can find these steps online and give the speech. But it still doesn't tell me that you know how to flirt. Hey, Miss Chang, so uh, I like your hair. Uh, OK, so I was trying to flirt with you as an example, right? So we don't know if you are good at flirting. But normally, if you were good at flirting, maybe you would have said something like, Denrick, I know. <laughs> right? OK, so, but now I don't really know that you are a professional in the topic you spoke or you're just getting the information from the internet and share with us. So it's very important to use personal examples. So that will be how I want to close my, um, close my evaluation to you. Next time, try to include a little bit of your own personal experience in your speech, even if you choose to make a video for YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Denrick, for a very thoughtful evaluation. Maybe next time, can we invite you to share with us about the floating method? <laughs> I'm not good at it. <laughs> I don't you believe it. Tang. I don't yeah, believe you're it. You're just posting Tang. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Last then, thing. then, then, just uh, compliment your hair. <laughs> All right. Okay. So next, we will go with uh, Helen, right? Helen's speech. Okay. So give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. You can start at any time when you are ready. Okay. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, I, I think so. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. Have everyone experienced the pressure of growing up before? Yes, for me, I have experienced that moment before, especially when I change from the age of 19 to 20 so i can feel that i have grown up i'm no longer a teenager and i'm officially i was officially become an adult so when you grow up you have so many problems in life and you can feel that you are not good enough compared to your peers and also you have a new relationships in your life um, but for me, I love connecting to people and I love enjoy um, making friends. Yeah, there is one problem uh, that when I grow up and I always questioning myself. When you grow up, you know who you are and you also want to look for someone that you want, that, that you might want to spend the, re the, the rest of your life together so yes you know how to choose the partner in your life you know who who are the person that you want to um, become a relationship together but do you know how how you can become the the, the right partner in their life instead of choosing so today I will tell you about how to become um, and how, how becoming and choosing the right partner in life. I can say that most of us, when, when, you, you, um, when you were younger, you will easily attractive from the people or 
any any I mean any people that they have a good looking or um, they 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 are talented. But for me, I have changed my mindset because I I can say that they have easily attractive us, but for the long term, that is not the thing that keep the relationship. So firstly, you have to focus on the character of the person. Why? Because if the person have the good character, you have, you are both can be easily to um, connect and communicate with each other because you will trust that this person will be um, suitable for you. And when the person have the good character, we can say that they are not easily given out of us and they are not easily to um, accept us. I mean, if person who have good character, they will observe you for a long time instead of jump into the relationship right away. Secondly, um, I can say that if the person who have good character, they will see the value of you. They will see the chemistry of you. If you have, you both have, um, I mean, if the person have a good character, so, and have a good value in life. So value is the things that inside of you, you can see from that, from, from the partner as well. Values is the things that we can evaluate the person from how they treat their family, how they treat their friends and the relationship around their life. Beside that, chemistry, um, if you both have the same chemistry, you can easily, easily laugh together, you can easily understand each other. And secondly, I want to choose the person who have the good, um, I mean, last time I used to, to see like how the person have the good capabilities. Um, like capability means um, they have good lookings and um, attractions or maybe their style is um, very fashionable or um, you have um, the same hobbies. Yes, so um, beside that, if you are, want to become and choose the right partner in life, you also need to um, be able to make the commitment. Because if the relationship have the commitment, you're not only just date to let to know more people, you not only date to experience, but you date for a long life, a long-term relationship. So can I ask every one of you that who is the ideal partner in your life and how should you choose the partner that could spend the rest of your life together? And I believe that if you accept yourself, if you become the right partner, if you become the right partner, so you can easily to find the same ideal or the same partner in, um, I mean, the same partner who have um, the same value in life with you. So just enjoy every moment and love yourself. When you love yourself, you know who you are. You can attract the same person in your life. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Helen. Thank you, Helen. Um, sorry, I want to say that. Um, actually, for this, I didn't have time to prepare it, and um, I learned this from 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 someone, and they teach me, and I just want to share with you guys. So, um, so far, I don't have any real experience. But I can change my mindset and I just want to share this experience to you guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Helen, for that. Okay, so next, let's come to uh, the feedback. So, Luang and Jang, Miss Yu, Donna, do you guys want to provide Jin feedback? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, uh, I think that the 
everyone uh, today had no not enough time uh, for prepare the speech as well as me as Cheng and Ching also. But uh, I think that uh, Miss Ching uh, have well done pre uh, well done for her speech. Uh, your uh, Miss Ching, your uh, main delivery is um, you want to to share us uh, uh, how to choose a right partner, right? Yeah, be and becoming <laughs> also, especially becoming. We not only just focus on choosing. Oh, yeah. So I really uh, impressed about a free thing you recommendation us is um, about a uh, characteristics about value and chemistry. So that's a very set though for 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 our mind that to think uh, how to think about a uh, um, a good partner. So uh, I also uh, impressed a question you ask you ask the audience that uh, what is your ideal partner yeah so i i really like this uh, question um yeah and and the the conclusion you also mentioned us that uh, just love your love ourselves love be yourself love yourself and it's very touch touch touching us that uh, we 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 can see the value of us after your speech. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and as I'm, you mentioned that you didn't um, experiences in this situation before, so you you didn't give uh, example for yourself. Yeah, so it could be better if you can give example for even not yourself or your your friend or your uh your family or something like that can it can in in it can be better yeah thank you okay. well done jing okay thank you miss Lang. thank you Lang. thank you Lang, for your constructive feedback and jang you want to provide Jin feedback what are the good points that she did You are muted, Jane. Uh, Ms. Jin, am I right to understand that in your speech you 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 provided with ways how to choose and become a right partner, right? Yes, correct. So to choose, you you need to find some person. You need to find a person with some characteristics, and to become a right partner, you need to love yourself be yourself and the right person will come to you right all right, right to understand to, to yeah to imply from your speech so i just uh, want to say that we need to focus on the character from the person instead of like um, you uh, just focus on the outlook because the character will be more important uh so to choose right it, the way to choose yeah some right partner yeah right yeah, uh, for me, I think I think because maybe we have little time to repair. So it's just like uh, the the structure of your speech. I it was a little bit difficult for me to follow, but I think uh, it, at the end of your speech, you already wrap up, recap what you say, and I think the message, at least the message, is strong enough um so it's, so inform me that okay i have to be myself and the right person will automatically come to me um i think you can do better if if you as as i mentioned if you have more time to practice your speech and uh, reduce the time that you uh in your speech yeah okay thanks jane Thanks, Jane. And let's go, go to Derek. I actually, I actually like how Miss Luan, Miss Luan Nguyen is being very proactive and, and the first to give 
an evaluation and and she's practicing what she's learning like right now she's immediately trying to put those into into effect so i do i want to send an extra compliment to miss miss loan nguyen okay <laughs> so miss chin all right um it's um yeah another great smile it's uh it's good that you can you have the ability to continuously smile that's that's very nice it's very valuable uh in public speaking if you can always have a smile on your face it's really soothing and calming and friendly and people will feel more comfortable right it's like looking at someone who's who's smiling so I, that's uh that's very good so far i think you have the best eye contact digital eye contact of of today that i can see i think it seems like you have practiced that a lot but you're looking straight into the camera and you're just going for it uh, it sounds easy but it's not that easy right what you what you did during your speech but i could really feel that okay so she's she's looking at me isn't she but actually you're you know obviously you can't do that so i think digitally your eye, your digital eye contact is really good i hope it's the same when you're giving live speeches as well very strong point i really really strong point you had a the opening of your speech was very good a good yeah a very good transition from your opening to the body of your speech not so good towards the end and i'm not so sure what or how the end uh, would have been or could have been but i do have to say that from your from your opening into the body of your speech i do think that was very strong so it's well done maybe because your friend helped you right <laughs> <laughs> but okay it was good uh, to give you a piece of recommendation you were a bit too close to the camera if you if you can go back then we we might be able to see more of your hands what you're doing are you moving it, it would have been a little bit more valuable if we were able to see a little bit more of your body language in that in that speech i like the topic that you chose because it sh it showed uh it showed the self reflection side of of being in a relationship right we like to think about okay how is the person i want how is the person i want how he looks his character or something like that but we don't often stand still okay how can i be a better partner that was the good thing of your speech and next time i i would recommend you to focus on that and that alone don't try to do too much talking about how to find the right partner and how to be the right partner i think this topic is valuable enough for you to just focus on how to be a better partner there's enough to talk about especially if it's just 5 to 7 minutes it's really enough to talk about even if you have no experience in this case since you told us you could have interviewed the your friend that helped you you could have say for example my friend he found this incredible guy but at that time in her life she was just a big right she was just not a nice person and she was unable to keep that relationship so for me now i try to be calm i try to be understanding and i try to listen to my partner that i'm talking to to make sure i am the right 
partner for whoever I'm about to go into a relationship with, right? And this is just, I'm just doing impromptu right now. I didn't practice this, but for a prepared speech, there's really enough material that you can use using your own story. And even if you don't have, use someone else's story. That's also good, right? I, I did enjoy I did enjoy it because you let me think as well, okay, hmm, am I a good partner for the future partner, current partner, past partners? So that was good. I really enjoyed the value of your of your speech. At the end, before you went into your end part of your speech, or maybe you were already in the end part of your speech, I wasn't sure. I couldn't quite get the transition. But you did ask a question, but you, again, moved on too long. I cannot emphasize enough the power of pauses when you are giving a speech, especially if you ask a question. Give people the time to think before you continue. All right? All in all, well done. I like the subject. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your feedback. Thank you, Denrik. Thank you. Oh, uh, yes. I really like the part you say that if we do not have uh, the personal experience, we can actually use the other one stories, right, to demonstrate and to make the audience connect with you better. And as always, I like, uh, focus on like practicing using pauses in your speech so that you can help the audience to sing in with your emotion, to feel the, the moment better. All right. So thank you very much, uh, Denrik. And so last but not least, welcome to the stage with you. Thank you. So, okay. Um, Yes, before starting, I would like to ask you one question. So, what do you think money cannot buy? Jun, what do you think money cannot buy? Happiness. How about you, Donna? Cannot buy hell. Mm. Yes. Time. Yes, correct. That's untrue. Hell, happiness and time money cannot buy and actually time is the topic i would like to share with you today yeah with money we can buy many things but not time time is free but is priceless and when it lost we can never get it back perhaps the issue of people today is that they found themselves too busy at work and they don't have time for their personal life. And I myself used to be at that situation. Well, actually, my life has changed a lot since I have been promoted to be a mom of a wonderful kid. Before being a mom, honestly, I didn't use my, life, my, my time that well. I spent few hours per day to to do in some Facebook or to chatting with friends on very, some very unvalued topic. But after being a mum, I find myself super, super busy. I need time to work. I need time to do exercise. I need time to nurture my personal development, which means that I need time to continue learning many new things. And more importantly, I need time to spend with my family and my kids. And well, can you imagine, I only have 24 hours per day. How can I manage it? And then I think that it's all about time management. I started to ask myself, did I 
serious, take my time seriously. Inside of my, I always, there are always have two voice. One voice asks me to expand, to grow, to develop, and one voice hold me back. The voice restrict my potential. And then I find out that it's on my choice. And when I clear the mindset, I started to check action. I wake up earlier every day and I sit down with a to-do list and list out all the items I need to do on that day. I identify the importance and high value tasks and I will prioritize to complete it first. And I, I will allocate the amount of time for the specific task and I will stick into it and focus on doing it. Of course, the distractions will incur. People try to take your time and it's time I study to say no. I say no to ridiculous requests and say no to unnecessary events and I will less prioritize or delay the low value tasks. For years, I still practicing my management skill. But when look back to me five years ago, I found myself improve a lot. The main the major days are no more procrastinate, no more delays. I will, I will take action immediately for what activities I think is helpful for me. And I still remember when I um, check with EIY team, the course of public speaking skill is uh, in the August. I a bit hesitate to attend because I'm I have a super busy month in August, but after that, I decide to check the course. And as you can see today, we are at the final class. I finished the course. I found so many useful information techniques that I believe I can apply in my life and my job. So time management. It enables us to manage our time well, and then we can have more time to pursue our happiness. If you want to have a successful future, I urge you to check action and check action now. Please don't waste time, treasure your time and manage it wisely. Time flies and you are the pilot. Thank you for attention. Finish. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Miss Yu. Okay. Thank you for delivering, uh, de delivering the speech. So now, Let's come to the feedback sections. Donna, do you want to provide any feedback? Uh, from the introduction, you began with the uh, with the interaction between you and your with the audience, and I think it's quite uh, good for for you because uh, you you start. Uh, with the con conversation fluently and uh, you use the past, present, future structure and uh, you apply the, the technique that Miss Lang and have already taught you uh, very well. I, I think that it would be better if you um, can uh, use the upward and downward pitch um, I think uh, this time you Im you improve a lot because you uh, make an eye contact frequently 
during your speech and um, you have a, a clear uh, example and you have a lot of uh, like a change from before you uh, become a mom and have two kids and I think you will be improve in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Oh, I have some um, something to say about Miss Sue's speech. Thank you, Lan. Uh, well done, Miss Sue. That uh, I can see that uh, you have good eye contact with the speech. So uh, your you always put the eye to the lens of camera that can make the audience feel that uh, you are looking at us. That is a really good part from you. The ca the second point, good point from you is you have good pausing. So when you speak speak uh, something, you pausing that the audience have enough time to to think about your question or to catch your point. That is really good that uh, all, I, I think that all audience can, can um, understand what you want to deliver. And the first, the first thing is your topic, your, um, your topic is really touching that I, I really uh, sympathize about what you are sharing because I'm the same situation with you. Before I decide to to join the public speaking, I consider for a week that uh, should I join the uh, this course because I'm really busy with my work. So I uh, wonder myself if I enjoy this course. Do I pay a uh, put enough time uh, uh, to 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 finish and and uh, do I? Uh, I focus on the 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 class the the course. I I, I thought that um I need I I thought I thought that oh uh, in maybe I will wait for the next course, but I finally I decided I need to to study immediately if I think that it is right because time never wastes us time always flies and if we waste time we will get old tomorrow so the the message you deliver to audience is really useful yeah uh only one one thing i i only recommendation to you is i think that it is your it is your uh ability but i, I think that it could be better if sometime you speak a little bit quick Quicker that because sometimes when we you pausing, it's really good to to listen, to understand. But uh, always slowly, sometimes make the audience feel uh, need more patient, patient to under to 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 continue uh, listening. Yeah, but finally, well done, Miss Zhu. I really Thank like you, uh, your speech. Yeah. Thank you, Lai. Yeah. Thank you, Luang. And Derek? <laughs> it's your turn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. It's so fun to see this. I really enjoy it. Okay. Um, means you, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, I think you started your speech really strong you had like these great questions i i think these are great questions always and and they might forever be great questions right because like what can you not buy with with money and the 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 best thing is that i actually agree with you right i agree with your answer so already you managed to put the audience somehow in agreement with you, 
So they are um, psychologically ready to listen to more with extra attention. So that, I think that was a really strong question. Well done to talk about your, your topic. I think your volume was good of your, your voice. I also think you use very good emotions while you were speaking. So we, we can see that you are not just speaking it, but I was able to see that you actually feel it. You feel the busyness. You feel the hesitation. Should I join, not join? Oh. Right, I could really feel it. And I, I enjoy that a lot to see, okay, this is a real story. And that's the next thing I want to compliment you with, is that you immediately jumped into your own personal story. So we, we all knew something good is coming because it's, it's your story. You want to know what's going on in your life. Excellent. One of the strongest opening that I have heard today, to compliment you even further, I have to say that, you know, they, they, they tell each, a good public speaker often know who their audience is. And I think you knew exactly who your audience is. Uh, you, maybe you are the only mom in this group. Maybe. At least that's what I... That's what I feel at this moment, that you're the only mom in this group, which means that all the students, or maybe all, I don't know exactly, but potentially all of them are looking to become mom one day, right? So that's, that's why I think, wow, you knew your audience and you played you played it to perfection with the emotion and the time and, uh, and at the same time with the tenderness of being a mom, right? And that you have the solution which you came with at the end of, of your speech. It's like, don't waste time, which basically is because you can't buy it, not even with money. So I think your, your, your structure was also very well. A point of recommendation would be is yes, you have the good eye contact, you have the good body language, but also there's too much for the digi digital presentation, there's too much space above your head, right? So if you, it means you, you could also find a way to sit taller or you could find a way to bring the camera down a little bit so you have more real estate. We can see more of your body so we can capture your hand gestures even better. And that would have been an even stronger speech for today. But yes, I, I think, yeah, not, not much more recommendation for you today. You played it well. You knew your audience. And I did enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek. Congratulations, you miss you. Thank you. And uh, yes, that brings us to the end of today's um, speech delivery and also evaluation part. And thank you a lot again to uh, Derek for joining us today and providing a lot of meaningful and valuable feedback. I believe that our learners receive a lot of um, information from you today. and. These sharing and tips will help them to develop their public speaking skills to the next level. Okay. And uh, next, we will come to uh, the Hall of Fame, which will be led by Miss Langan. And welcome, Langan, to the stage. Yeah, thank you, Mai. This is the moment that we have been waiting for for such a long time, everyone, because we've been together for nearly a month, uh, more than a month, I think. And today, oh, wow. it is, yeah. And today that is your graduation day. 
So I would like to invite all of us here to join me in the Hall of Fame. The first person that I would like to introduce uh, to receive the certificate from EIY is Miss Wang. <laughs> now, Miss Wang, can you please unmute and share your talk with us? Huh? Your final talk to share with your classmates, instructor, and coach assistant. Please unmute and uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really uh, impresses when I see the certificates of, of our course. I'm really happy that um, after finish this course, I can I can feel that myself improve. I don't care people teach me how people teach me that. Uh, how level i am of public speaking but i care about me i evaluate my public speaking is better than yesterday awesome. so that is the really great thing for me i receive from this course i want to say thank you to miss Lanang, miss my Dendrick, and all the instructor and all learner for our course that can give me many best uh, uh, moment and uh best memory i i want i promise that one day in the future i will try uh offline course <laughs> yeah I, promise, I really want to try offline course in uh -huh. saigon I, I i will come to saigon every weekend to try offline course Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And Rick, do you have any final words to share with Miss Wang? To encourage her. I yeah, I, I do believe you and uh great that you don't don't care too much. That's a good way to live. But I, I do believe that you were better than yesterday because I just saw you get better today. <laughs> From she does. like the first time you gave the evaluation to the last one, it was just better. So, well done. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. And the second person that I would like to introduce is Donna. Donna, can you share your talk with us? Yeah. Um, actually, I. I have learned presentation before uh, when I was in high school. Uh, I, I registered in a language center, and um, actually, he he says me he said to me that uh, my performance is 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 likely I I perform at at home because I feel really connection with the audience. <laughs> so uh, after. Uh, many years and I I think that I need to uh, check the plan again to 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 register a public speaking because I am inspired of a tech talk you know and also the other talks from the uh, influencer and also the public international speakers so that's why I want to improve my uh, public speaking skill so uh, in the future, I believe that I can be a good storyteller um, because I have a, um, a teacher and she's quite good at this field. So that's why I want to become a, a good person like her. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that I finished uh, this course uh, and um, represent our speech. Uh, with all the techniques that Miss Langan have already taught me. Uh, thank you uh, for your endeavor. Yeah, thank you so much, Donna. And Jenny, do you have any point to share with her? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think you do have you do have something uh, for story for storytelling. I I do I, I saw that in your speech. So please use it please yeah <laughs> Thank you, Derek. now let's come to Jane. welcome Jane. 
Let's share with you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember the first time I met you, I was the youngest person in this course. But, you know, I, but after that, I came to the realization that I have a lot. I had a lot of commonalities with you, even though we we came from different uh, industries. But you know, we all have the same. Uh, we share the same purpose. We all want to learn from each other. I have to admit that every lesson I joined in this course I always learned a new thing. I met new instructor. Every, Every person I met over the course of one month, they all teach me something that I've never learned before. And um, I think, you know, I, I, after joining this course, I realized that public speaking, you know, it, it's not about the way that we present our ideas to audience, to my friends, but, you know, it, it takes a higher level that it requires us to, I mean, like for me it's difficult even you know we have i have to in before every section i have to repair the content and how to deliver your message to the audience in the, in the that can convince them and i think it's really hard and you know the most letters they have this skill and i think it's it takes time to master the skill um yeah i didn't Enjoy every session I join, and it's my pleasure to meet, have a chance to meet all of you. And you actually um, teach me and, and me a lot of things that I think I need to learn from you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very meaningful day. Then, Denise, let's share what your final thought. Yeah, I think, Tang, I think you have like a. You have a professional voice and you have a very pleasant accent. So it's like, I think if you, if you had a YouTube, for example, in English, I, I really think it, it could be, it could be nice. Right. Or if you're doing an MC event or something in English, I think it, it can work really well. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. That is coaching. Now let's come to the next person that is Helen, but she's not here. So we come to the final person that is Miss Yu. Let's welcome Miss Yu. Mm. <laughs> okay, yes. Well, uh, we still remember last Thursday, Lang An told us today is the final class. So actually, I a little bit of shock, regret, because I enjoyed the class so much. And uh, but yeah, time flies, and uh, we have come to the end. Uh, I gained a lot of knowledge, techniques, public speaking skills, and uh, I believe that um, I I can apply such knowledge to life and work. Um, thank you, Lang An, the instructor. Hi and the learner. I really enjoyed the class. Yeah, we'll meet again soon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think I think today, Miss Yu, maybe everyone agrees. I don't know, but I think uh, she delivered the best storytelling today, with with emotion and and real life. So yeah, sure. that was that was very good. Yeah. I think that she, she she took the challenge that I gave her last time because I challenged her to deliver a storytelling speech today, and finally she did that. <laughs> yes, that's yeah, awesome. that's the that's the message Lang An told me last Thursday. Yeah, maybe just two days ago, and Lang An advised that I should apply uh, storytelling because previously I never applied any story in the speech mm -hmm. i never tell about myself actually yeah she a fact oriented person all right now we are we need to say goodbye to each other everyone because um uh, everybody needs to end and today that is the final day and i wish that you can carry public speaking values to your work to your personal life so that you can inherit success from public speaking 
And it doesn't ma matter where you go or what you are doing. Whenever you need my support, just come to EIY and let me know that how can I support you. And for those learners who joined the Advanced Public Speaking course, which is going to happen next Monday, I, I will see you uh, in that class again with another instructor. So for today, because of the time that is 420, so we don't have much time for the technical mishaps, but I will share with you all of the materials I have for that class so that you can read it uh, yourself because I have another meeting at 430 and it's hard for they need to carry that lesson for you. Uh, so that's why that uh, my will share with you the material and after you read those materials if you have any questions just reach out to me i'm willing to share with you the answers all right yeah okay all right thank you everyone thank you everyone have a great weekend and stay safe yeah. stay safe soon yeah.